Good morning, everyone. Um, Maggie Morris, I'm the owner of Prim Bookkeeping. A um, little bit about Prim. Um, I opened Prim three years ago uh, as the pandemic started. I've been in business for over 16 years doing bookkeeping and management and, and all that. But with the, you know, the start of the pandemic and the school closing, um, I was um, forced um, to be home and had to leave my full time job. And the next day I opened Prim and my then employer became my first customer. Um, and from there, just word of mouth, it, it spread. And I, you know, within the few months I had five customers. So I figured, oh, let's do it. And um, a lot of, um, so, so I thought, how do I, am I different? What am I going to do differently? Because there's so many bookkeeping companies out there. And also, you know, as we know, we all know how to do it. And that's not the issue. The issue is time and, and finding that time and, and, you know, not sacrificing your family time. So I figured, you know, why don't I create a boutique style bookkeeping service where uh, like one of my clients um, that I was just talking to recently said, you know, you give me the time, you ask questions, are you accessible? I feel like, you know, uh, you real. Um, there's a lot of companies, virtual companies. I am a virtual company, but there's a lot of them out there that, um, uh, you know, you don't feel like they're a real person. Um, I always shy when geographically possible to meet with my clients in person for the first time, get to know their business, get to know their operations, see what they're doing how they're doing it, what is it that they want to get out of the business, what information they would like to see, um, how often, and, and all that stuff. So I, I do anything from setting up your file like I did for a new client, although the client is not new, just switched from Excel spreadsheets to a, a, a bookkeeping accounting software. So I did his whole chart of accounts, set up everything, um, sort of went over with the client, what's what, showed him how the software works, and going forward, I'm doing everything. So by you know end of the year, he's going to have all the reports. He will be able to invite his accountant to the software, and it'll be a breeze. Um, so ju that just a little bit about mm, myself. Now, why hire a bookkeeper? Like I mentioned a little bit earlier. Um, Every, we all know how to do it. The problem becomes time or the actual software where I see a lot of people duplicating the income on their expenses because they don't know the workings of the software or how double entry accounting works. But why hire a bookkeeper? If you want to spend more time with your family at the end of the day and you, you know, instead of doing your own paperwork, your own books, you, you have someone like me do it for you. So you free that time. Um, do you want to implement like Desiree says for day work week instead of working um, on your business, then you outsource that and then you have some time for yourself. Maybe you want to focus on growing your own business and you don't want to, you know, spend evenings or any free time to, to track the financials. Um, Sometimes, like I said, we people without a lot of experience make mistakes. So if you want accurate financials, you will hire someone like me, or you simply don't really like doing it. I have a, a window treatment um, designer who just does not enjoy it. And so she would rather focus on designing um, and, not, and not doing it. So today I wanted to talk about just following Desiree from last week um, about something that I see a lot when I take over a client's file. People, you know, get confused. Is it payroll or is it owner's draw? It depends, you know, so I see those transactions classified incorrectly. So I wanted to sort of give a quick overview of what it is and how to classify that. Um, so obviously, Salary is a set wage. You pay yourself weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, or monthly. And when you take that, it includes taxes and deduction. So when you record that, you know, you, you record it in a specific way on your books. Um, draw 
is what probably most of us do. Um, it's the amount that we take out of the business for personal use. There's no set time, taxes do not come out. Um, we can, it can happen whenever we need it. Um, and when we, when we take money as a draw, um, it, it's not an expense. So it, um, it, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't reduce our taxable income of the business. The, the, the drawer lives on the balance sheet, not on a profit and loss. That's why we don't really see it. It just reduces the available cash we have in the business. Um, and the way you record it is, there's, uh, I'm not sure if you guys um, know how how the balance sheet and and the profit and losses is, is um, presented. But if you, as a business owner, contribute to the business, I always like to then when you draw, take that money out of the contribution just so it looks cleaner. Once we exhaust that capital account then we can start categorizing as the owner's draw. It just will look, uh, it'll still give you the amounts that you've contributed, but then it'll just zero out. Um, now, what's important is to remember that, you know, when you draw, you need to put the taxes that are not being taken out. So as a small business owner, we need to, everybody knows, uh, to make our estimated tax payment. And I always suggest that, to my client that every paycheck, every check that you get from your client, you have like a separate account that you take a percentage of that and you put it in their account. So it's out, it's right there. And then uh, when the tax time comes, you have that money for the um, for your estimated payment. Um, a lot of people, you know, people, you know, when when it's time every three months, every quarter, we just we just try and, and, and get the money. Um, and that money comes out of it's not a it's a small business that comes out of our um, uh, personal account. Not it's not a business expense at this point. Now, how to decide which way to go? Uh, it really depends by the business classification. Business different business structures have different rules around owners' compensation. So here I put just a little. Um, information like if you're a sole proprietorship you take the draw um llc or partnership you can take the draw or something is, that's called guaranteed payments and that is uh, it's a draw that takes precedent over regular draw especially important in partnership when partners take disproportionate draws so then that will take the precedent and 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 the rest um comes after as an S corporation, which is, you know, it's, that's uh, your election. You can make that election as an LLC for your taxes. And sometimes your CPA would be able to tell you it's it's more beneficial for an LLC to elect to file as an S corp for tax purposes and, and savings. Um, what we do as an S corp, we need to take um, a salary and we could take distribution. Now with an S corp, we have to make sure that the owners receive a reasonable compensation via payroll. Um, if we don't, it can result in a loss of the status with the IRS. So if there is the IRS doesn't tell you what it is. You just have to, you know, you look up your position on salary.com, let's say, and you see what that position, the average, what it would get paid. And then you have to pay yourself that you know, that reasonable compensation and the, anything extra that you take out, it's called distribution. Now with the C Corp, it's a little different. Um, in the C Corporation, we run payroll and the owners may take the draw, but then it's called a dividend. And that's when the double taxation comes into place because, um, you know, the, the, we always know the, the C corporations are subject to the double taxation. So generally, C corps are take uh, taking payroll. So I think everyone here is either a sole proprietorship or LLC. Not sure if you elect the S corp for taxes, but um, when you when you record it on your books, make sure you record it as the in an equity account in a draw or, or guarantee payment. It's not a salary. It's not an expense. It doesn't go on your profit and loss. Um, so that's a little bit about that. Next time I will talk about another issue that I see often, but um, 
my perfect customer really is um, a small business with none to 25 employees, any industry, anywhere in the US. I, I provide them services virtually. I can either, you know, if you run QuickBooks desktop, for example, I can log in remotely to your computer and do that. Most of my clients use QuickBooks online, so that's even better. Um, my customers, I right now I have gyms, franchises, daycare centers, last landscapers, distributors, therapists, medical offices, IT firms, cleaning services. So really any industry. Um, I am about to start um, my new client who is a mend and fire department as well today. So um, really anyone that could use my help. My services are, are affordable. Um, it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg. Definitely um, worth it. And this is just some of the testimonials of my clients. The Fit Buddy Bootcamp is one of my um, customers. Very happy, as you can see. Uh, Stacia owns uh, my fairy tale parties. They, she organizes parties for um, children. So that's another example of a completely different uh, business that I am um, helping. And my goal is always to be the extension of your business. Um, you know, small businesses we don't need, maybe can afford to have a full-time accounting department, full-time bookkeeper on staff. So um, I'm, you know, you're the extension of a business. I'm there to help you if you have any questions. It doesn't really necessarily have to be just a bookkeeping. I do payroll. Um, I do um, HR management. I recently picked up a few projects hiring for a, a company. Um, so, you know, it, it's like a total package of really office manager that that um, I can I can provide since I do have experience managing businesses like I mentioned before I was a general manager of a business prior to this um, so I think that's it for today <laughs> um, thank you so much for listening if you have any questions I'm here answer